Welcome to the 16th video on building a social network with Go. This time, we are adding passwordless authentication. Go to mailtrap.io and create an account. This service allows test mailing. We will make use of an ENV file to save those credentials. Here, you set your own mail credentials. Never commit this file or share the credentials with anyone. Then, call this function at the start of the program. Now, I can read the credentials from the environment variables. Done. Now, I need to pass those to the service. I will change how we created the Branca codec. I'll receive just the key as argument, and create the codec here. Now, I don't need to export the token lifespan. Since the new functions has a lot of arguments, I'll instead receive a configuration struct. We use the SMTP package to create this auth thing. It's necessary to send emails. No reply is the email address where we are sending emails from. Now, we need to update how we called this function from the main.go. That looks okay. Now, I will make a function to send emails. The package from the standard library to send emails is quite low level. So this is mostly a wrapper to send emails in HTML format. First, I need to set some headers manually.
These are the minimum necessary headers to send an email in HTML. And that's it. Okay. For the passwordless mechanism, I will use a magic link. That's why we needed to send emails. The user receives an email with a one-time use code to log in. It's like a temporary password. First, I will validate the arguments. Then, I will insert a one-time use code in the database associated with the user. I need to create the table first. I will use UUID to create these codes. I will need a timestamp to check for expiration. Now, I insert the new code. I will check for the foreign key constraint on the user ID. With this verification code, I can now create a magic link. The user will click this link and will be automatically logged in. That's it. Now, I need an email template to send. I will make a very basic email. That should do it. Now, I need to parse this template. I do this, to have to parse it only once. These codes will expire in 15 minutes.
Now, I can send this email. That's it. We only need to code this endpoint now. Okay. Once the user clicks on the magic link, he goes to that endpoint. There, he will be redirected to the front end app. Here is the function to make that redirect URI. First, I need to validate the arguments. The verification code is an UUID, so I will borrow the regex from here. Then, I will delete the code from the database. Then, I will check for the expiration date. Now, I will issue a new token to log in the user. I will format the expiration date of the token correctly. Now, I can add the token and expiration date to the redirect URI. I will add them to the hash fragment. And finally, return it back. Let's make the HTTP handlers now. These endpoints must be the same.
Okay, send magic link is a post request, so let's decode the body first. Now we can call our service function and handle all the errors. Finally, respond with a 204 status code. For the auth redirect, we get the code and URI from the query string. Let's handle the errors. And finally, we redirect using this URI and a 302 status code. That's it. Let's try to test it. This redirect URI is not the same we used in the back end. This one doesn't have the API on it. You can pass any URI here. Doesn't want to compile. Here. That takes a while because we are using an external service. But here we have our magic link. And it correctly redirects. Let me add the port. So, you can see it redirected to the front end with the token and expiration date on the URL hash fragment. Now, the front end must extract those and save them to local storage and include the token in each request. The last thing I want to do, is prepare a cron job that will delete all expired verification codes. This will run once every day. I will replace this hard-coded 15 minutes. And that's it. Now, run this code inside a GoRoutine. That's a long name. I will try to think in a better one. Here is a recap. You start by sending an email with a magic link. The user clicks this link. And is redirected to verify the code in the link.
where he is redirected again to the front end. And with this, I declare the back end done. If I change anything, you can see it at the GitHub repository. See you in the next video.